I'll begin the course of fire by stepping out the back door here onto the deck. Let's pretend that my wife is out working in the yard and I see three potential threats over there. I perceive that guy in the center is indeed an active threat, so I will engage. The dude on his right is coming at me with lethal force, I'll engage. I'll acquire the third potential threat. He's indeed an immediate threat, so I'll engage. I'll make my way down the stairs here. Another threat presents itself. I'll yell, stop, drop your gun, go away. I'm gonna keep my commands real simple and short. Stop, drop the gun, run away. He complies, runs away. Good, forget about him. No longer a threat. For the sake of training, I'm going to transition to my pistol at this point. So I'll sweep my rifle to the side, draw my sidearm to get some practice in with it. I see a threat over there. I'll take cover behind this. Uh, I'm gonna set up a wall there. I'll lean out from behind cover, fire two shots to the chest. That fails to stop the threat, so I'll fire one more to the head. I'll continue on through here with my sidearm. Another threat presents itself. I'll fire two shots, center of mass. That fails to stop the threat, so I'll fire two more, center of mass. Threat's neutralized. I see another threat. Oh, he'll stop, go away. He runs off, good. Drops the baseball bat and what have you. No longer a danger, let him go, good. I'll have one more. I'll set it up so there's one more round in my pistol. There's another active threat down there on the ground firing at me. I'll fire my last shot at him. Drop my gun on the ground, and then I'll go to my rifle. I'm gonna fall down here, shoot from around cover on the side, and then for the sake of training, I'm gonna flip over, keeping my muzzle between me and the threats. Flip over, fire two more shots from my left side, and then I'll get up, maintain my situational awareness, make my way towards my wife, I'm scanning for threats. See one more asshole, you'll stop, go away. He complies, good. I'll yell, get over here to my wife, and then we'll slowly retreat back to the house. Call the police, do what we need to do. Just drill those fundamentals into our subconscious so we don't have to think about it. You know, drawing your firearm, reloading your firearm, acquiring a good front sight picture, uh, you know, just practicing the good trigger squeeze, clean break and follow through. You want all of that to be second nature. Because if you are under duress in an actual hostile situation, you're gonna be using 100% of your mental faculties just to determine, you know, is this guy a threat? Would I be within my rights if I were to engage this threat with lethal force? Should I engage this threat with lethal force? Uh, you know, you don't want to have to be thinking about doing anything physical with your hands at the same time because that's just not going to happen. It won't work. Forget about it. So that's the main reason of training. We want to hammer in those fundamentals and have them ingrained. Ingrained and instilled in our subconscious so we don't have to think about it. Stop! Stop! Go away! Stop! Stop! Go away! Stop! Go away! Get over here! Let's go! Closest target that I shot while I was moving, two to the chest, one to the head, missed the fourth shot. This guy over here, this was pretty long for a handgun shot for me. One to the chest, the shoulder, that head shot, I don't see where the head shot went. The scope, I was shooting on the side so I was when I was on my left side, I was hitting here, I guess. I need to compensate for that. Good, those are good. Low at 25, less than that. 
20 yards. Shots is cool. Uh, yeah, I always get one to the right there.